New Albany certainly has changed over the years. In 1980, the population was 400. Today, we're a city of, of 7,700. We've seen so much change. We're headed on the right track. We've got a, a lot of great people who are making a contribution. In terms of master planning, not only are the schools in the community core, but the McCoy Center, the library, the post office, our shops and where we eat, our government offices, we're all there. And it's all designed so that our community core is a destination place and a, and a real vibrant place where a lot of things can go on. To have roots is very important and this center helps to build the roots of what New Albany is. There are like 900 events a year. It's school events, it's community events, very much a cross segment of the community. I perform at the McCoy. I enjoy every time I do for dance recitals, choir performances, musicals, anything. And you just feel comfortable. It's like one big family at the McCoy. It's not learning in isolation here. It's learning as a community. Have experienced this, so their awareness bubble has been pulled in really Part close. of our vision for the future is that we create a place that not only builds upon that tradition, but provides more and more opportunities for intergenerational learning. We had students just this last year conducting research at Ohio State, developing programs in robotics and virtual reality with Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and the list goes on and on. And that's a key uh, element for us. Being a place that gives students the opportunity to work and learn in real world contexts. I founded the STEM Girls Club with Mr. Herman at the high school level, as well as FIONA, which stands for Future Innovators of New Albany, which is a mentoring club for middle school girls. And I tried to cover kind of the breadth of science and engineering. New Albany has taught me more than just the facts that I've learned. I think they've taught me how to take on challenges and handle them. We went to Oregon, um, Crater Lake, and we also went tracking with a few guides. We basically went around finding footprints. It's really hands-on. It's all hikes or learning about your camera, taking pictures. And then there was this one really fun point where we got to go swimming in this lake. Really awesome. Originally, Peace Week was to commemorate the people in the Columbine shooting, but now I think it kind of changed. It changed into like bringing the school together. Bands play throughout the day and, and eat on the lawn while people kind of are playing the house games. So it's like a really big like celebration of music and games kind of day. I think it's their time that they can really enjoy feeling like they're a part of something, a uh, part of change, uh, a part of really making a difference. It's not only celebrating what we have, but it's also celebrating uh, outreach and community service and giving back to a community that supports us every day. I think there's a feeling of not only academically we want to achieve, but we want you to be healthy as well. We have 22 varsity sports that 75% of our kids at the high school participate in, which is phenomenal. Uh, we have a club system where 100% of our kids are a part of something. That experience of, of being aligned and, and a part of something is very important to us at New Albany High School. This is a school system that never shuts down. Uh, our gyms, our fields, and I mean, it's 24-7. It's the community uses our facilities a lot and uh, that's a good thing. Athletics at New Albany is kind of like the backbone for the school. I love the sports, the football team, the football coaches, they're like a family to me. Um, I couldn't imagine not being a part of it. Um, Friday nights, it's, no, there's nothing like it. Get your family and friends, whole school comes out, student section, it's a good time, everyone's loud, cheering you on. All you hear is just roars, you got your teammates beside you, adrenaline rushing, it's a good feeling. To have everyone on the central campus is unique, and that was by design, where we thought, you know what, we can do some sharing of buildings and sharing of staff and sharing of students. Uh, but I gotta tell you, the beauty is within. It's beautiful outside, but when you walk in and see the students and the faculty, that's the real beauty of New Albany. You like, feel connected to everything. Everything's so close together. It's, everything's in walking distance. It's kind of like a home here elementary and middle school, all the way up to the high school, the teachers are 
top notch. They can help you with anything. I'm impressed by the different cultural things that we've been able to experience. We have families from all over the world. I think our goal now is to prepare students to live in the 21st century and have global skills. To be high achieving, ethical, self-directed, intellectually curious citizens of the world means that we have to push the envelopes on creating global citizens. The role of technology will change teaching and learning, how we use space, and how we use our partnerships with the community and the world at large will change teaching and learning. I like the fireworks we have 4th of July. The whole community comes together. Everyone's pretty much inviting when you come here. Really friendly. I like to go to Founders Day with my friends. We got Market Square, which is kind of like the hangout spot for all the kids. One of my favorite things to do is go to Johnston's ice cream. And my favorite flavor to get is Blue Sky. New Albany's future looks bright. We're learning every day, and I think we're trying to improve every day and every year. I don't think I would trade being here or living here for anything in the world. This is a community that is fully committed to what happens for its students uh, from every perspective. The teachers, the staff, uh, overwhelmingly won me over from the very beginning about their commitment to partnership and their commitment to the future for our children. We're all rowing in the same direction. Everyone wants the best for their, for their kids. We want the best for our students. Uh, I think that's the feeling of this, of this community. How do we support one another? And how do we get better together?